Okay, let's turn now to our first alert weather team and this forecast. Dominus, we've been talking about this. Of course, it's hot, it's warm, but now we're talking about maybe a little bit of relief on tomorrow? Yeah, in the form of some spotty showers and thunderstorms, Steve, but we're not talking about a washout for Father's Day, so that's great news for us with our first alert weather headlines. A couple of showers and thunderstorms are possible much like today and yesterday here and there and much hotter weather as we move into next week. Now, here's a look at first alert radar. You'll notice that a lot of us not seeing rain out there, just a few lingering showers east of McKinney at this point, but that's about it. We have some lingering cloud cover over us to call it partly cloudy. I think a lot of us will get through tonight pretty dry as we look at future cast because I know some of you have plans for tomorrow. Maybe you're taking dad to breakfast or brunch. I think overall as we start our day, I think we're going to be okay. You'll see towards 615 in the morning there and even toward the early afternoon, but sometime after about 12 1 2 o'clock, we could see a few pop up showers and thunderstorms here and there. They're not they're not going to remain around your area all day long. They'll continue moving mainly to the west as we go through the afternoon. And once we lose most of the heating of the day, most of those showers will dissipate. And then for Monday, can't rule out a shower or two, but I think a lot of us will be dry as we go through most of next week. So right now I have that rain chance tomorrow at 20%. Then once we go into next week, we're talking about the heat. Let's keep in mind though, with the heat tomorrow, and we don't have a lot of wind to kind of mix things in the atmosphere, we still have an ozone action day for much of North Texas. So if you have asthma, any respiratory problems, let's take it easy and maybe keep some things indoors during the peak heating of the day. All right, Father's Day is tomorrow, so temperatures by noon at 92, 96 degrees by 5 o'clock in the afternoon with a high around 97, 98 degrees as we go through the afternoon. Juneteenth tomorrow, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures on the hot side. Again, if you're going to be outside, let's have some rain gear just in case we have a shower to move over your area. Then we talk about much hotter weather, and I have dot, dot, dot again <laughs> in the forecast there. Yeah, temps above 100 degrees. I'm talking about temperatures that could really get well above just 100. How about 103, 104? I'm going with that forecast there going into next Saturday. And when you factor in the humidity around those numbers, we could likely be looking at another round of heat advisories, excessive heat warnings for us here in North Texas, and that's something that we'll need to keep in mind as we go through next week. For tomorrow, again, we need to keep dad cool, so let's go to the pool with temperatures at 2 o'clock in the afternoon around 93. It will likely feel like the middle 90s. Your first alert seven day forecast shows temperatures in the upper 90s tomorrow, and then a stretch of 100 degree days as we move through most of next week. About 101 there for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday about 103 with partly cloudy skies and sunshine next Saturday. That's about 104. And again, it will probably feel much hotter. The first day of summer, though, is this Tuesday.